Hello viewers, welcome to Regina Aura. For this tutorial section, we are going to be looking at creating a database using DBCA and we're going to be pointing out how to register a database to cloud control at the point of creation. To create a database um, using DBCA and registering a database with cloud control, the first thing you need to do is to make sure your Oracle database um, is up and running and um, also your uh, Oracle management server for your cloud control is already started. We're just going to go into using DBCA first. I'm going to have um, DBCA there. And what we're going to be doing is to create a database. So I'm just going to leave it and create a database. Now, in the next step where we need to um, actually um, create the database, um, I'm not going to be using the default, which is create database default configuration, because we'll be actually be highlighting um, um, the point where you need to register database with cloud control. I'll be looking at the advanced mode. So I'll just um, click on advanced mode, okay, and then um, click on next. This part is where we have to select um, the templates um, that we want to um, use. Um, I'm just going to leave it at um, general purpose um, or transaction processing, um, which is okay because it includes some um, data files also. So I'll just um, click um, next. This is where we need to specify our global database name. Regina Aura DB. Okay, and we named that Regina Aura DB. Okay, and um, and this is the part where we um, need to create it. If you want to create as a, a content database or you want to leave it as a non-content database, um, I would just um, create as a content database. And then I'm going to have just one PDB. And then I'm going to call this um, Regina or a PDB. OK. OK, we've got this Regina or a PDB. And then I'm going to click on Next. Okay, now this um, is um, the part where we uh, need to specify the management options for the database. Um, first, we need to select um, um, and configure our Enterprise Manager Express and um, choose a pause. Okay, so uh, this particular part depends on um, if you already have an existing database because right now we're using DBCA to create database. So it's assumed that you have a database. So you have to be sure that the pause number does not conflict with your database. That's what you have at the moment. Okay, so if um, I have a database with 5500 port number, all I need to do is to change this to probably 5504. So I ensure that this particular installation or this particular database I'm creating, rather, sorry about that, does not conflict with what I already have. Okay, now this part is um, to register a database manager here cloud control. Okay, you can see my Oracle Management um, Server is started, and also I told you uh, my database is already started. I'm going to just click on Register with Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Please take note that registration of a database with Enterprise Manager Cloud Control can be done after installation. I'm ju I just want to show you how to do it during uh, um, a database creation. You can do it when you're done, okay? OMS or host, you have to pick up your host name. So I'm just going to come to this part and um, Open the new tab. Okay, the host name of this machine is um, 12C local domain. So I'm going to pick this here and um, paste it here. Okay, now for the OMS port is the port for your cloud control. The default port for Enterprise Manager Cloud Control is 7802, except of course. Um, you changed yours, okay? So I'm just going to okay, and then you need to provide an admin um, username and password. Okay, I'm just going to use the admin I used in logging on earlier on. And then we'll put a password there. Okay, and um, I'm going to click on next. This part is to um, check for security reasons. If you want to use a different password or you want to use a particular password for all your accounts, different administrative password for the SIS system and the PDB admin um, account and the DBSMP account that's in charge of your cloud control, you can specify the passwords here. But if you want to use 
same password for all your accounts you just do that here okay I'm just going to specify click on next okay this path is to um, select listener creation um, I'm just going to leave it at that because I have a listener running already the, this um, path is to um, select database file storage type um, okay I'm going to leave um, everything here at default and then we'll click on next okay um, this is the path where you have to select sample schemas um, that um, if you want your database to include sample schemas like the HL, the OE, the SCOT, all these are examples of sample schemas. It actually depends on what you want to use your database for, okay? I'm going to check this. Okay, this path is um, um, where you have to choose your uh, in initialization parameters. Um, you can change your memory size of your SGA and the PGA. You can see that here if you are not okay with the default size. Okay, this part is to select your creation options. Um, and that means your database creation option. Do you want to create the database or you want to save as a database template? I'm just going to leave it at create a database. Now, if you want your database um, creation process to generate a script where you want to see what was done, okay, you can click on this. And then you have to take note of this um, location where your scripts will be stored after the installation has been done. Now, um, this is our database, um, um, create database summary. Uh, okay, um, you can look at that. Um, we're creating a global database name, Regina Ara, PDB, single instance and all. Then you can take, go through all of this. Now if um, any part of this you know okay with it, you can still go back or you can just finish and um, start up your installation. Solution for Regina Aura DB is done. Um, you can see the address um, for um, Regina Aura DB. You can see the part where we have the password management um, where you can unlock um, certain users. Okay, now let's um, log on to this new database and um, check our cloud if um, it's actually registered. Okay, so I'm just going to have that. Um, To name that, um. and you can see that this um, database already started because um, we just finished um, the um, installation using this DBCA, so we need to start um, starting it up again. Okay. We try and check if um, I have this database registered. Um, now you can see just below this, I have Regina Aura DB that just created, okay, and it's um, already been um, configured with the Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. I hope this tutorial was quite helpful. Thank you for viewing. Don't forget to drop your comment just below this video. And um, if you have any other concerns or maybe you tried it and it's a bit difficult, you can also send me an email, um, which you'll be seeing um, highlighted on your um, screen um, right now. Um, thank you so much for viewing.